Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today we're gonna to take a look at the buffalo grass we planted this year at the end of summer and show you some interesting features on it. First, we'll take a walk around the perimeter of the planting and kind of get a feel for how far it's spread. It wasn't really planted down here, but some seed washed down here. So we'll just take a look and see how far it goes. That's buffalo grass right there. It's kind of a demarcation line right here. That's buffalo grass as well, I think. Yes, it is. But pretty much right in the area that I planted it. You could see along the edge here, you got widely spaced plants, but then you got areas like this. Kind of hard to tell how many plants are in the area. Yeah, see that's one plant right there. So that's just multiple plants. It's not one big plant. But some of these single plants are pretty darn big. Yeah, real interesting. Buffalo grass has both a male and a female plant. They're separate plants. The male plant has what looks like a seed head, but it's not. It's actually a pollen head. And the female plant has, they call it a burr, but it's down low, and that's where the seed is. So what looks like a normal seed head up high, that's a pollen head and you got to kind of look down in it to find the burr or the seed. That's why buffalo grass is so expensive because it's real hard to harvest that seed. Yeah, it's not doing it as much down here as it is up there. I'll show you that stuff in just a minute. Yeah, I'm stepping on it here. It'll grow back, but I don't want to step on it too much. Sparse little stuff here. Next year, I'm going to kill off all this stuff. There's like a triangle right here with a road on both sides. I'm going to kill this stuff off and plant this entire area in buffalo grass. And in the areas in between the grass, like these right here, I'm going to get some side oats grandma growing. That's another short prairie grass. It should look pretty cool. Yeah, I went in here and hand weeded yesterday pulled out the rest of the weeds that I could find and kind of left the areas that I pulled the weeds rough so that the stolons could take root. I'll show you one of the stolons in just a second. Yeah, we got a lone plant down here. Another one there. Yeah, it's going to be real interesting to see how this progresses down into here. This stuff will spread real fast with these stolons. It's pretty interesting how those look. See, that's a weed right there that I missed yesterday. All right, let's finish working our way along the bottom here and get to the pollen heads and the seed burr and the stolons. I don't see any of that stuff down here. It's all along the top. A few weed grasses that I missed yesterday. This is my burr oak here. Yesterday, there was a gigantic spider on this. There's the web right there, but I don't see the spider. Big yellow spider. Huh. It's either hiding on me or it moved out. All right. So still pretty sparse along the edge in the shady areas like in here. I'm going to be planting sedges next year. Yeah, so yesterday, while I was weeding, here's a stolen right here. 
I pulled one of these out because I thought it was a weed. So, oh crap, that's a stolen. It's gonna be really hard to see here unless I yank it out and I don't wanna do that. But it's like a strawberry plant or the old spider plants that they used to have back in the 70s. But it's like a long stem that grows on the ground. Yeah, here's another one that has little tiny plants here and there along the stem. And those little plants will shoot roots down into the ground and spread the plant as far as that little stolen goes. This is actually a short one here. Yesterday when I was weeding this, we found a couple stolens that had rooted already and we took pictures of them. I'll have to post those pictures in the community as soon as I can. So you look right in the middle of a plant. That's a stolen right there. Here's one right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but it's got little plants running along it and it'll shoot those into the ground. Here's one right here, a stolen and it's already rooted. Here's another one that's, nope, that's not rooted, but it's got one, two, three plants on it. Yeah, they're all over the place if you're looking for them. Here's one right here, another one right here. That's a whole new plant right there. It hasn't rooted yet, but it'll be a new plant at some time. So that'll fill in all these open areas. The stolons will go towards the light, so they'll travel along the ground. Here's one right here, and that one is rooted. Got a brand new plant there, and then this one has two stolons coming out of it, and it's gonna spread further. Yeah, there's one right there too. All right. So those are the stolons. Another one here, oh, that's a big one. Got a big plant at the beginning, another one right here. Little smaller one, another one here. That one's got five or six different plants on it. Same here. So these are gonna spread like crazy and fill in all these open spots real quick. All right, let's see if we can find a burr. Lots of stolons. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how these stolons take root this fall and how far they're gonna grow this fall. This buffalo grass is gonna go dormant pretty soon. So I wonder if these go dormant at the same time or if they continue growing into the fall. Here is a pollen head. It looks a lot like the seed head on Blue Grandma see if we can find a burr. Yes, we can. There's one right there. Oh, there's another one, a bigger one. That is a burr. And it's way down towards the ground. And the pollen head's way up here, so it'll sprinkle the pollen down onto the burr. And... That's where you get them gnarly buffalo grass seeds from. It's August 5th right now, and you can see that this stuff is just starting to get brown. It's just starting to go dormant. So we'll come back here again and see what these stolons are doing in maybe two weeks and check back in on those seed burrs. See if we can find any here. That's a stolen. Nice long stolen. Yeah, this spread really nice. Nice and thick. There's a lot less burrs than I would hope for, but I think it actually just started, so there might be a lot more burrs in a couple weeks. And like I said, we'll check back on that. 
if you look over the tops of the plants, you can see the pollen heads here and there. Some places have a lot more than others, but it's nowhere near like the blue grandma. We'll have to come back in a couple weeks. This is how the blue grandma started out as well. So in a couple weeks, there might be a ton more of these. Another thing to note about buffalo grass is some of the seed that they sell is specifically for turf and it's sterile. It's not going to have seed heads. So make sure you don't get any of that if you want to do a prairie restoration. If you just want this for turf grass, that's the grass to get. But if you want it to be self-spreading like this stuff is, I would get natural buffalo grass seed. This stuff comes from round stone and it's 60 bucks a pound, 60 some bucks a pound. All right, we're at the very far end and you could see it's pretty sparse here, but I was running out of seeds at this point and because it's below the tree, I didn't think it was gonna grow all that well, but it is growing pretty good. It'll be interesting to see how this spreads right here. There's a good chunk of it right here, but it's kind of empty over there. There's a plant here and there though. We'll see if this fills in. If it's a little too shady for buffalo grass, like I said, we'll plant some sedges in here and that'll look something like the buffalo grass, but it'll be a real nice mix. A nice look across all of the grass. Yeah, that looks beautiful. It's gonna be really nice when this is down into this area and I have some taller native grasses in there as well. It's gonna be just gorgeous. And I like what I did with them septic tank covers as well. Those are the vents from the septic field here and they're in clay like that. So when I have to burn this, they're not gonna start on fire. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about any of the open areas. I think those stolons are going to fill that in really quick. This area right here is one of the areas that I replanted and you can see it's got a good amount of grass in the center. In a very short while that's going to look just like this. It's going to fill that whole thing in. Some of the areas over here like right there, right in here, right in here and a little bit through here had big patches of weeds in it. I killed the weeds and when I went in here yesterday I yanked out the old leaves and stuff I want them stolons to be able to get into that area and start new grass without a bunch of dead leaves getting in the way, blocking the sun. Give you the view from this end. At some point, this is just going to be a line right between the lawn grass and the buffalo grass. I'll show you how I'm going to do that next year. Well, actually, I'm going to start doing that later this year. So. Make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.